My name is Mona Kuhn. I am a photographer. I'm very happy to be exhibiting here at the Kunst House in Göttingen. And this work's title is King's Road, a Rudolf Schindler house. It was mostly photographed at the Schindler house, which is in West Hollywood, Los Angeles, a house that was built by Rudolf Schindler, who migrated to Los Angeles from Austria in 1920s to work with Frank Lloyd Wright. And in doing so, he built a house for himself and the house became an icon of American mid-century modernism. When I myself moved to Los Angeles in 2005, I had a chance to um, enter the house. I started learning more and more about the scene in Los Angeles during the 20s. I was very much interested in finding more intimate papers, things that hadn't been seen before yet. I found a letter that he wrote and signed which seemed to be a breakup letter to a possible person that was really special for him, but that they for some reason now could not, no longer be together. That letter became then the pivot point in which I created a fiction and a visual narrative based on this architect and this mysterious woman. It was really wonderful working with Gerhard Steidel as a curator because him and I, we wanted this to be an experience where the person enters and discovers slowly over time certain points of reference from the archive. Some of it is personal, some of it is architecturally based, some of it is about the time in Los Angeles. It gives many, many clues along the way. You go through these layers of material and the viewer themselves have a chance of discovering or stopping by in front of one or another to read and at their own pace learn a little bit more uh, in depth. You see the juxtapositions of things, for example, like an image that we had of three people strolling through the streets of Los Angeles. You see the palm trees, you see the 1920s, you see the styles of the time, what they're dressing and what kind of cars they were uh, driving. And across from it, you also see how revolutionary Rudolf Schindler's house was at the time, how experimental it was and how it was so different and so innovative. Another really nice aspect is working with Boris Zalcho, who is a composer that did all of the sound installations on the three floors. For the one floor where we showed the archive material, he celebrated Schindler's architecture of space by composing the music in the similar way where you have surround sound and a simple sound of a typewriter slightly on a concrete music style creates an ambience that in a certain way you could almost imagine that some of those letters that were written a while ago which now are reproduced on the banners could have been the piece of paper that someone took out of the typewriter and placed it in the room. 